good. So we are, so this is one of my clients, um, Celeste and Farrell, and they just purchased a home in a place called Piora Selva. And you, I guess you already know, they're looking to furnish, I think it's four, it's four bedrooms, four yeah, bathrooms. Yeah, I watched those homes. Uh, I actually did uh, some, we, we gave them a couple concepts uh, to the builder. So okay, yeah, cool. I'm really familiar with the product. Um, I think, um, you know, we'll just request, of course, some drawings with measurements. Yeah, um, I can get those for forward. you. Okay. Yeah. Hi. Hi, Hi, how are you? Good, how are you? Good, I'm glad you were able to get on. I know you were in a different time zone. Yeah, thank you so much. Hey, Celeste, what's up? What's up, Myra? How are you? I'm good, how are you? Good. So, yeah, um, if you guys want to, we, we've, yeah, you guys go ahead. <laughs> okay, so, yeah, what I wanted to do was just kind of give you an, a, a kind of an overview of who we are um, and our furnishing process. And then um, from there, what we would do is um, we would send you a copy of our furnishing contract so that you can review that. Um, and then, you know, we decide if we will get started. Um, okay. So um, I, right now I'm in Arizona. I spend about 20% of my time there because I'm just wrapping up some business in the U.S. Um, but I started my company late last year in Tulum. After building my house, um, I decided that there was um, a need there for interior design um, and some other, you know, we do real estate and some management, some other things as well. Um, so... You know, with that said, I do have 10 years of experience um, in in the industry. I primarily furnish for investors in the U.S. We furnish luxury Airbnbs. Um, and so we're doing the same in Tulum. Our philosophy is that if the furniture is a little bit nicer, we over furnish a little bit, um, the revenue comes. Exactly. So our people in the U.S. typically make around 15 percent more at least per year based on our styling and furnishing. Um, and it's it's proving to be the same in Tulum. That's awesome. So yeah, our process, our process is pretty simple. It's a little bit more express because it's geared towards investors and it's, you know, they're, they're Airbnbs. So it isn't like as intense as a consumer design where we're picking out every pillow together. Um, so what we do is we look at the property, which we've also, we've already walked this property and even proposed some things to the builder. Um, we would propose some concepts to you, see which direction that you like the most. You know, there, there's a few different styles that all can still exist within the Tulum style, um, that will be rentable. Um, if you get too far away from that in Tulum, people won't touch it. Like if it's bright colors and you know, like just there are certain guidelines that we try to guide people through. So we create the concepts and then from there, what we do is we quote everything line by line so that you can see exactly what you're, you're getting. We get together, we have a meeting so that way we can pull out some items like if you really don't like them or you know, things like that. And then from there, we'll total everything up. You see what the total is. Um, and then we place the orders. So typically from the final design to the install, it's four or five weeks. Um, it depends how long it takes us to do the design. Usually it's a couple weeks. All of our items are handmade in Mexico. Um, we ship in kitchens and linens and things like that, the kitchen stuff. Um, there's not things available in the store there. You can't just go buy dishes and it's hard to find a trash can sometimes even if you go to play at El Carmen. So I think we really have, um, I think we really have this system down um, since we've been doing it for some years in the US and now doing it in Tulum. Um, but you know, we create curated beautiful homes um, with furniture that's gonna last and that's gonna you know, enhance your investment. Um, other than that, um, what I wanted to do was just kind of answer your questions about the process, talk to you about what you're looking for, um, and then we can kind of, like I said, circle back and make our final proposal. Okay, great. That was um, a lot of great information. <laughs> that so was great information. A lot of <laughs> my questions. Yeah, um, I know. I do this a lot. So. Yeah, that <laughs> was great. 
Um, okay, so I think the main thing is I, I love the Tulum vibe. I love that neutral vibe that you guys kind of already listed in that brochure. Mm -hmm. Um, one thing that we kind of want to, we want to set our property apart. So we don't want it to be exactly like, yeah. um, one of the other properties. Um, and so I think that's like the only thing. Cause I, I yeah, think we don't do any other. designs that are the same. So there's okay. a lot of designers in Tulum that have a catalog and they're like, Oh, here's the catalog. Here's what we have. We're like fully custom. Sometimes I see a bed in restoration hardware and I'm like, okay, we draw it and we have our carpenter make it. Like I want every single unit to be its own unit. I don't want like, oh, you know, we just took these 10 items and mixed them up. And yeah, you can definitely have variety there, but like we, we really like, it's really curated. Um, we love to do different things, you know? So that's why we okay. don't have like this, oh, let me send you the catalog. Let me know what you want. Like that's not, you know, we're operating on like, you know, we want this to be unique. So for sure. Okay. Well, I mean, it sounds like exactly what we're looking for. Um, obviously we are in Texas and the project is supposed to be done. December, December, right? like December, 12th, right? December. Yeah. yeah. And I mean, it could be a little bit later than that, but we want to try to, get it done um so that we can uh, we'll probably be, be there in january okay um so that would be like the like the latest that we want it for sure i think that's easy one thing to understand is that like um we're telling all of our clients this year that if they want to make it on for you know, Christmas week or January 1st, they need to have all their furniture ordered or decided on and ordered by early November. It's because December 15th, no one works anymore in Tulum. Like people stop working on like, you know, like the carpenters and different people start, stop working because of the holidays. And literally anybody who tells you December 1st, like, no, we can get your furniture. Like they're literally lying. Like I, you know, yeah, like, we okay. so much last year and we're like, nope, we're going to tell our, all our clients, like we've got to decide by early November so that we can make those things happen. And I think we have plenty of time now to like start going through the design, decide what you guys like. And then even if we have to hang on to it for a couple of weeks before we make the order, then we can just like pull the trigger. So I think you're okay. right coming in. You know you're coming in at a good time but it's literally like people lie every december and i was like oh i'm not gonna be lied to again like <laughs> yeah i was like i'm just telling all my clients like let's just get it all decided if the builder delivers on time and it really is mid-december and we can get it online for the end of the year for that last week when you get the most money like we'll definitely we'll definitely hustle to make it happen for you i mean we're still working after december 15th um but you know i mean we just want to make sure that we get all the items yeah because when is like high season there like in between christmas and new year's is the most expensive week of the whole year oh okay well perfect <laughs> yeah so you're gonna come you're gonna come in january february march i mean like december january february is like your high season i we consider march april May yeah. shoulder season, June soft, July is terrible, August and September are the worst, and then you get back into shoulder season in October, November. So Okay. Okay, cool. Yeah. Well, I'm um we definitely want like a one stop shop. So that's um you know Yeah, like we'll go art, TVs, trash removal, forks, everything, like candles, accessories, books, like you're going to come there and you're going to stay in your new house and it's going to be a dream. You don't need to okay. be waiting for deliveries and <laughs> like yeah. trying to find a trash can. Like we'll deal with the trash can. That's okay, awesome. Cool. That's awesome. Yeah. So what I can do is send you our furniture contract. It's pretty straightforward. What we usually do on there is we have an idea of what it's going to cost to fully furnish a house the size of yours. And we're going to put what we call a not to exceed number on the contract. That's so that way you're designing inside of a budget that you have an understanding of what that is. So that way I don't come back to you with this rad design and you're like, okay, but that's like a hundred K, you know, like mm -hmm. that's also because we're investment minded and like, you know, this is not like 
some people, some designers are just like, oh, we want to do the coolest thing, but I mean, it doesn't make sense. So we're going right. to set a budget that you understand up front for the project. And then we do the design, we get your feedback, we price all the items. Um, it's like super simple. Okay, perfect. Any other questions? Okay. Um, I'll send you guys our Instagram okay. if I haven't already. I don't know if I sent it. Yeah, to you, send us your Instagram. Yeah. Yeah, so you can see we have like a wide variety of properties and places and stuff. So you can just see who we are. And I'll even send my U.S. Instagram so you can just see that business because there's a bunch of houses on there too. Yeah, that would be awesome. Yeah. Okay. Well, I don't perfect. I don't have okay, any questions. Well, that was very straightforward. I like that. <laughs> um, just, yeah. yeah, from that over and then we can um, get started hopefully. Yeah, where in Texas are you guys? Um, we're in Houston. Okay, cool. I used to live in San Antonio for like a few years. I used to go to Houston all the time though for like work. Yeah, my mom lives in San Antonio actually, so she no. just drives up here. It's not, it's not no, far. I don't to do there. I don't think I don't. Yeah, I don't. I don't like it there. No, but Houston is like completely different. It's just like stuff all the time, busy, busy, busy. Yeah, and there's that historic district downtown. It's like super cute. Yeah, I like Texas. I mean, if I ever moved to Texas, so I think I moved to Dallas because I just love how like giant it is. Yeah, that's like our rival. Rival city for sure. Yeah. Well, cool. Well, so what I'll do is I'll send that over. <laughs> I'll send that over for you to review today. Then any other questions, once you read through the contract, just let me know um, and we can go from there. Okay, great. Sounds good. Okay, you got good it. Have a great day. Thank you so much. Bye. Bye. Bye.